This is the same concept as a pinhole camera. Exactly, that's okay. exactly right, yeah. First, create a white surface inside of our cereal box. About how big? Um, you can make it as, as sort of wide as you want on the bottom. The flatter the piece of paper is, um, the better view you're going to get. Arts and crafts is never yeah. been my strong suit. <laughs> you're doing great. Make like little you know, tape loops, and we can just push this down into the bottom of our cereal box. So what we wanna do now is we wanna make our two holes on the top of our cereal box. And pinhole can be on the right or the left? It can or? be on either side, okay. yeah. We're gonna need our scissors again, and we'll just cut out those top flaps. And I wanna make sure that I can cover this up with my face when I'm looking into it, mm -hmm. so that it's blocking out the rest of the light and the only light coming through is through this little pinhole. And then we can tape our piece of aluminum foil. So we need to poke our little pinhole there. So you can use a pen, you can use kind of anything that you have that can make just a small hole. Too big? Yeah, that's, that's huge. <laughs> that should be okay, we can test it out. To turn away from the sun, or in this in this case, our light. We're going to turn away from it and let the light go through our circle here in our aluminum foil, and put the box up to our eye, and we should see a circle projected on the back of our cereal box. As it gets more and more pronounced, you're just going to see more and more pronounced crescent shadows. So a colander is a really good tool. But you can also just use shadows on the ground. Totality, there'll be no shadows at all, not for your colander, not for yourself, and not for the things around you.